right, there it is, friends. How are you doing? StreamYard TV, what are you doing? It's been a minute. It's been a while here. Uh, Pastor Rick, Ministry Podcast Network, live on the air. <laughs> Double check, make sure my headset was on, because that's how you hear the volume on here. Well, let's get our friends on. Let's see. Let's go to, I want to go ahead and get that done. And there it is, right? Cords, plugs. <laughs> All right, there it is. Tin Can, you're live on the air broadcasting from Studio A. It's Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast Network. Finally, up on a video live podcast here with StreamYard TV. Had been a while. It has been a while since I have been able to do any kind of broadcasting live on a video uh, just because of the frozen internet box that we have. Uh, and... Uh, you know, all that other stuff going on. And, uh, of course, with the weather freezing up on me. So bear with me. Let's see. Volume level. We want to make sure that's all down and ready to go. So this will be posted up on YouTube. And, of course, I'll throw it over on Twitch TV. Well, we got a lot to cover. Come on in. Church is on. Doors are open. Welcome. Get your Bibles, your podcast notes. Your, what else do we got? Your uh, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, uh, and that fresh cup of coffee, my friends. You're live on the air, Studio A. Uh, yes, we do have some coffee this morning. Glad that you guys dropped by for just a little while here, hanging out in the studio. Let's grab, uh, just real quick, I want to change out the time. I was going to go at 12 and then 1230. And now it's a little after one o'clock, but hey, that's all right. So uh, one way or the other, I'm going to try to, you know, like I said, try to get back on here. So anyway, uh, we got a lot to cover, folks. So come on in, have a seat, uh, grab that fresh squeezed cup of coffee and uh, your Bibles, of course. Now, that is the main thing we need here in church, having some Bible. So hopefully the lighting is okay. I've redone some stuff. We kind of reset a little bit, put a new little background in that, uh, the spot where I want to get the boards put in. Haven't quite had a chance to get that yet. They've been frozen. Uh, so I just threw up a kind of a little background part. I might have to readjust it, but it works for now uh, until uh, until I can get something going. But uh, hey, it's okay. It'll, it'll work. So uh, anyway, glad you guys are here. Now, again, I reset uh, the um, Jonah, the book of Jonah. We're going to do that tomorrow night. Well, tonight, actually. Uh, it should be back up on Restream TV. I kind of switched the schedule around because uh, it's been a while since we've been on StreamYard TV, and I wanted to make sure that we covered that. So, uh, amen, friends. Well, good to see you. Let's get to it. We're going to pray it in, and then, of course, we're going to go right into our podcast notes and our first opening set of scripture is, or scriptures, is going to be 1 Corinthians. And I think we're looking at chapters 12 through 14. So we're going to do some reading this morning, friends, on a Friday early morning broadcast here. Uh, what date is it? Did I put the 25th or 26th? Wow, I got to change the date over uh, because I, I think I thought I put the 25th. Uh, let's see. So I got the 26. So I'll have to, uh, oh man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, I'll have to readjust the date. Uh, it's not the 25th. I was thinking it was the 26th. Uh, and I'll have to redo that. So don't pay any attention. If it does come out on, uh, if it does come out there, then, uh, we were, we're going to readjust that date. So give me a second. I'm going to reset. Uh, let's see. Reset that. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I did actually do that okay there. So um, we're going to restart that. All right, Tin Can. Restart part two. Pastor Rick here. Ministry Podcast Network. I, I thought I it was the 25th. For some strange reason, I was thinking it's the 25th. But uh, I, apparently I did move it to the 26th. I don't know what I was thinking of. Anyway, we're live on StreamYard TV. We got Block Talk, Radio, Radio.co, Tin Can, and more live on the air. So we are set, reset here for the 26th, just a little after 1 o'clock. Let's pray it in and let's get to 
the church service Bible study uh, podcast this morning, friends. Welcome. Come on in. And let's get some coffee first before I do all that. Amen. All right. Same old problems, different date. But hey, we're gonna go. Did I spill anything? Am I? Did I get any on me? I think I think we're okay. It happens, you know. I got that fresh cup of coffee. I think I need a sippy cup. I don't know. Everybody said you got a lot of coffee going on. So anyhow, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's pray it in. We're good to go, uh, friends. Got got all that coffee out of the way there. It's right there. Uh, this morning, so we are, we're good to go, folks. Come on in. Heavenly Father, thank you again for another opportunity that you give me to to just do this Bible study, do the church service here. I pray over the Wi-Fi, pray over the equipment, uh, and of course, pray for everybody out there. Uh, I thank you for the opportunities. It's just so awesome, and I just am so grateful for this. And uh, even though the mistakes here. Uh, I just uh, am grateful and uh, just thank you for these opportunities I get uh, to uh, to podcast and, and get this word out. Uh, even though it's not perfect, Father God, it's okay. I try. I do my best here. And I thank you again for everything. And uh, again, praying for family, friends, everybody connected, everybody watching, everybody hearing the broadcast. Thank you for them and uh, everybody connected. And I, I just, uh, I know your hand is on this ministry. I know your hand is on the mission and I uh, appreciate that. So thank you so much for that. And uh, I just call in Jesus' name right now. Amen and amen. All right, my friends. Well, I had to do a coffee check because uh, I thought I had bumped my arm or something uh, trying to drink it. And, you know, like a, <laughs> my friend sending me emojis. Uh, you need a bib, Pastor. You need a bib. I don't know. Well. You know, it happens. I it's it's you know the brand new cup that I just got. It's it's a great cup. It was a you know just happened to get it. But uh, you guys know I, I'm live. I there's no edit. There's no cut. So let's try that again, round two, shall we? And then we're gonna get into our podcast notes. So make sure you got them here, friends. All right. <laughs> I have success. Amen. Well, you know. Oh, good morning, friends. Pastor Rick again, Ministry Podcast Network. Grateful to be here. Thank you guys. Want to send shout outs to my little sisters, of course. Everybody on the groups. Uh, you guys know Facebook groups, all that. You guys know who you are. Appreciate each and every one of you praying for you and your families, of course. Uh, and, of course, always praying for my kids. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's what I do, friends. That is my my position in my mission <laughs> amen well i did get channel three back up and running like i mentioned on the audio podcast there was some wires uh one wire broke one wire was loose and i just redid everything and reset it so uh temporarily it looks like it's okay i do hear uh audio in my mixer so that's a good sign and i can hear the mic pretty good actually that's pretty nice so it's nice having all that stuff working i am going to uh re well probably get another laptop i'll probably replace channel three just because it's uh it's on its way out it's an older machine you know older laptop and it's it's a little you know it's time to go get a new one time to replace it that's okay i don't mind you know doing all that stuff all right, well, you know, it is a talk show, uh, friends, and let me kind of readjust my headset. I don't know why that seems off, but I'm not sure why. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. It is, again, Friday morning, this uh, 1 a.m. Uh, Bible study podcast here live on StreamYard TV. We'll see how tonight goes. I might be back up and running on Restream at 11. We'll see. So let's get to it. Uh, like I said, a lots, uh, lots to do. And, uh, whew. I tell you friends, it's been, well, you all know that it's been a rough month, <laughs> I, but, uh, but uh, I'm just saying it's been a rough month, but Hey, I'm back. We're here. And, uh, thank you guys. So grab your Bibles and of course your podcast notes. Let's go right. Actually, we're going to put some armor on first. I want to do that. I think we should do, 
Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Let's go ahead and put that on right now. Friends. Now, finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of, this, uh, of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, uh, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod of the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God. Uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open, friends, my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, uh, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that there I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And there you go, friends. You have been armored up already this morning. All right, make a couple little adjustment notes. Now let's go back to our sinner's prayer of salvation. Uh, it's important that we do that too. So get a hold of me, friends, if you make that move and take that step, friends. Uh, amen. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network at, or not network, but uh, just the Yahoo thing at yahoo.com. There you go. <laughs> Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com, the official prayer line 24 7 and uh, uh, email for the ministry here. Thank you guys for that in advance. So let's go ahead and do the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends. Just right where you're at, it's all right. No problem there. Just go ahead and do that. Hang on. Sleeping computers, as always. Come on, get back on. Mercy, I got to keep an eye on this all the time here. All right, let's try this again, friends. Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, let's go ahead and do that right now, live on Block Talk Radio and more. Now, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Uh, to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Friends, in Jesus' name, we pray right now. Amen and amen. All right, let's keep rolling. Got a few more for you. And then, like I said, we're going to jump right into 1 Corinthians quite a bit there. But, uh, you know, I like to do some reading here in the Bible. That is important that we, you know, we stick to the Bible uh, scripture and all that. So, amen. All right. So I'm watching the other channels. Now, I multitask on channel one here. I've got four or three or four different uh, live channels pulled up. So got to watching everything here on the Mac. And uh, amen. So. All right. And I notice, uh, as just real quick before we get into the serenity of prayer, uh, I noticed on the Wednesday early morning uh, audio podcast I did, I kind of drifted around. And I know that. I'm working on that. Uh, I just sometimes I get so excited about this, you know, podcasting and getting the word out. Um, you know, it's I, I just lose track of thought. So apologies in advance. Friends, uh, you know, I'm I'm trying to do what I can here, and I am working on that. So I know the Spirit says stay focused. You're way off in left field with your own zip code. I know. Well, I just get so excited about this. I And you all know following me here, you know, that's <laughs> you never know, but I do the best I can here. Just glad to do it. Appreciate the opportunity to share the word with you guys. 
Yeah, and of course, just to be in the Bible. That's awesome, and we need more of that. So thank you guys, and appreciate your patience, your time, your uh, support, and uh, understanding here. That's really awesome, and I'm going to, you know, now that the weather's warmed up, uh, I'm going to be able to get back on here a little bit more frequently than I have in the last few weeks. We're getting 30s and 40 degree weather here, so that's great. Everything's kind of defrosted and unthawed. So I'm tired of being cold, friends. I don't know about you, but I, I know I told that joke in the other the other podcast. And uh, I saw, what was it, a squirrel, a couple of squirrels fighting over a jacuzzi or something like that. And, a, and coffee and uh, a couple of birds fighting over a jacket. I know that's how cold it is. I'm serious. It's cold. It was really cold. Zero degrees or something like that. All right, well, hey, let's reel it back on in and get to our serenity prayer. Got a lot to cover this morning, friends. Amen. Uh, All right, so God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, and accepting hardships as the pathway to peace taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, uh, trusting that he will make all things right, friends. Here's the key, if we surrender to his will. All right, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen, friends. All right, let's keep rolling. Uh, amen. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got going on. Uh, that is awesome. I think everything's set so far. Uh, amen. The Lord's Prayer. Now, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. As we said, forever and ever. Amen. And there you go, friends. You have been armored up. You got the Lord's Prayer in there. You got the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation and more. Now, again, stick around. Stay tuned, friends. As soon as I can figure all this out, the scheduling, uh, I'm going to be on um, Restream. I think that's tonight. Uh, I do have that scheduled in. But we're going over Jonah. Friends, we're going to go over Jonah tonight. Uh, the intro and the background in the Orthodox Study Bible, and then I'm going to go ahead and roll with chapters one through four in the uh, in the King James here, as I love to do all the time. Uh, you know. uh, share the word, Amen. All right, so let's go to our notes, and again, this is going to be, uh, Amen. Let's see, that's going to be two, as I write in my notes down, that's going to be Friday late night podcast here. And I think, like I said, I was thinking it was the 25th, but it's actually the 26th. Uh, and I'm going to try to uh, try to get back on there tonight. Restream TV, about 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, uh, friends, and I'll get the schedule worked out and uh, reset here. So bear with me. We uh, see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go over that later on, uh, but uh, we're gonna go over. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go over the Book of Jonah again. So tell your friends and uh, come on into church, friends. All right. Well, let's get to tonight or this morning's broadcast here. Uh, Studio A, friends. You're at the bottom of the hour, 1:30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, live on the air. Studio A again, Pastor Rick. Appreciate you guys dropping by the. The studio for church this morning, amen, back on StreamYard TV. Uh, Still working on that schedule, but uh, as I said and mentioned on the last broadcast, hey, I'm going to be back on Melon TV, uh, and I'll kind of work those in uh, a couple of days a week or so, and uh, maybe some random early morning broadcasts, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, You know, got to keep rolling with it, friends. I don't know. My friend just texted me and said, I uh, maybe you need a, a bib or something or a sippy cup for your coffee. Well, I don't know, friends. I, you know, I, it just the way it is. So let's move on, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> oh, mercy, 
My friends are funny. I love them, but they're funny. You know, uh, I I better not get no bibs for Christmas or birthdays or whatever. But uh, yeah, I, I got my I got my paper towels over here, so I think we're okay. So anyway, I gotta be somewhat humorous, you know. I, you know, with the with the uh, you know the coffee spillage there. I I just didn't want to go through the whole broadcast with you know coffee on my face there. So. Uh, hey man, how you doing? I know, let's move on, shall we? Let it, you know, let's just go on and read some Bible scripture. 1 Corinthians chapters 12 through 14 here, friends. And let's readjust because, again, my, my chair is not doing so well. I'm working on that as well. So let's get to it. Uh, amen and uh, amen. Glad you guys are here. Appreciate your time again. Chapters 12 through 14 is we're going to go into 12 uh, for Corinthians. Let's go ahead and read it. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, friends, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 1. You know that you were Gentiles uh, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led, wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed, uh, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit, uh, and there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Well, we got two side scriptures for this one. Romans 12, 6, 1 Peter 4, 10. All right, let's move on to verse 8. For to one is given by the Spirit uh, the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit first corinthians 1 5 all right 10 here i think that's where we're at oh no nine actually we're going to go to nine uh let's see to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit verse 10 uh to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another divers kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues mark 16 verse 17 there on that one and 11 but all these worketh that one the self same spirit dividing to every man severely as he will Going to 12. For as the body, uh, as we see here, as the body is one and have many members, and all the members in that one body, being many, are one body, so also in Christ. That's Romans 12 4. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, the non Jews, of course, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit john 6 63 there for the body is not one member but many if in 15 as we see let me get my notes together on this uh let's see he says here in 15 if the foot shall say because i am not the hand i am not of the body is it therefore not of the body and if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I, let's see, let's go back here. I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole body, if the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now have God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it hath pleased him? In 19, and if they were all one uh, member, were, let's see, where were the body? 
But now are they many members yet, but one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. And nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. In 23, and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor and are uncomely, uh, uncomely, hang on here. Oh, mercy, there it is. Bear with me, you guys. Um, come on, there it is. All right. Mercy, I help them. Uh, <laughs> amen, help them. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, 22, nay, much more those members of the body, which seem to be more feeble, are necessary, as we go back over 22. Now let's go to 23, and those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, uh, upon these we bestow more abundantly honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Uh, 24, for our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. And there should, let's get the word together here, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another, or a division, he says here. Uh, 25, let's see, no, we maybe just did that one. All right, so let's go to 26. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. Right there, he says it, right there. Get that uh, note together there, amen, all right. So, as we see in 28, God has, uh, has set some in the church, first apostles, now watch this, uh, secondary, or Secondarily, uh, right? Secondarily, uh, prophets, third teachers, after the miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Uh, 29 are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, uh, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret but covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet shew I unto you a more excellent way. Now we're going to get into this ver or chapters here. Let's go on uh, to uh, chapter 13 here in 1 Corinthians this morning. So, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and of not charity, I have become a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Matthew, hold on here. Oh, mercy. Uh, let's see. There it is. Got to make sure I get that on. Channel's just shut off. It's still the settings. Something, something's going on with my settings on my laptop. So anyhow, let's move on. I got a lot to read here for you. Or read together, right? We're having church. So, okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, the side scriptures for verse 2, Matthew 7 22, Luke 17 uh, 6, there. So let's go on to, uh, friends, let's go on to 3. I am, though I besiege, uh, bestow, let's get that out, uh, all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, I profited, or it profited me nothing charity suffereth long and is kind charity envieth not uh charity vaunteth not itself is not puffed up doth not behave itself unseemly and seeketh not her own uh let's see is not easily provoked Thinketh no evil, 1 Corinthians 10, 24 on that side. Now, we're going to look at this as he says, put away childish things. Now, uh, 6, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, church. 
Now beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, and endureth all things. Romans 15, 1. Let's go to verse 8. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, or whether there be tongues, they shall cease, and whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, 1 Corinthians 8, 2 for that, uh, and 10, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child, and I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. In 12, for now we see a glass darkly. But then, face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known and now establish faith, hope, charity, and these things, uh, these three. Uh, but the greatest of these is charity, as it says in the Bible. So let's go on to 14 here, right? All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, folks, this morning. Good to be here with you. Uh, StreamYard TV live. Uh, amen. I'll get all this posted out on all the channels as usual, as I always like to do here, so you guys can watch and view and hear and listen and watch me spill some coffee. Hey, there you go, friends. Good morning to you. Good Friday morning. You made it to the weekend. How's that? That's awesome. All right. Uh, chapter 14, 1 Corinthians. Let's read it right now, friends. Verse 1, follow after charity. And desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. Number uh, 1125. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, uh, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. Now, uh, let's see. How be it in the spirit he speaketh mystery. So there you go. If you guys were looking for that uh, about speaking in tongues. Uh, it is not for man to understand, but for God. As we're directly speaking to the Heavenly Father, friends. All right, Acts 2, 4. Now, 3, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. You readjust <laughs> my one of these days i'm going to have that in the perfect spot but you know in the meantime i gotta keep readjusting it that's okay we'll we'll get through that all right let's go to verse four now he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself but he that prophesieth edifieth the church friends and there you go now five i would that ye all speak with tongues but rather that ye prophesize uh for greater is he that prophesieth that he that speaketh, hang on, oh, oh, mercy. Come on now, give me patience, Lord. <laughs> give me patience. All right. Uh, let's try it again. So he that speaketh with tongues, we're in verse 5, except he interprets that the church may receive edifying. There you go. All right, let's move on to 6. Uh, let's see. There, got my other phone up here on just in case, uh, lined up here. So, six now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge, or by prophesying, or by doctrine, and even things without life giving sound whether pipe or harp, except that they give a distinction in the sounds, uh, how shall it be known that it is piped or harped? All right, let's move on to eight. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself for the battle? And we're going to go to nine. So likewise, ye accept, ye utter by the tongue, Words easy to be understood. How shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. And there and ten, there are, it may be, so many kind of voices in the world, and none of them is without uh, signification, right? 
Uh, 11, therefore, I know that uh, are not the meaning of the voice. And uh, he says, I shall be unto him that speaketh a uh, barbarian, right? That's, that's what it says here. Uh, and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so, ye for as much ye are zealous of spiritual gifts. Seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Give me a minute here. All right, just to make a little bit of adjustment there on the volume level on the mixer there. Cue it up to a 4 dB there. Uh, just crank that up a little bit. Get that uh, hot mic going. All right, let's roll on about verse 12 here. Uh, even so ye, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church as we build up the church here, friends. Now, wherefore, in 13, wherefore let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. And 14, for if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. In 15, what is it then? I will pray with the spirit. Uh, let's see. And I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit and i will sing with the understanding also else in 16 when thou shalt bless with the spirit how shall he that occupieth the room of the unlearned say amen at thy giving and thanks seeing he understandeth not what thou sayest all right or sayest for thou verily givest thanks well, but the other is not edified. I thank my God, I speak with tongues more than ye all. Yet in the church, I had rather speak five words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Brethren, be not children uh, in understanding, albeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. Psalm 131, verse 2. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto the people. All right, as we look at the gift of interpretations here, friends, on this morning's Bible study. Uh, let's see. So as we continue, uh, again, uh, 21, I believe again in the law, it is written with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto the people and yet for all that will, uh, they not hear me say it the Lord. I think that's where we're about at here. All right. So let's go on. We're about 22 here. Now, wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth not for them that believeth not, but for them which believe, as we, we see there. All right, so I'm going to keep up on my, my uh, channels here. I'm going to make sure that they are up and running. All right, let's keep going again. Let's go back over 23 here. If therefore the whole church be more together into one place or come together, what? Come together more in one place there, right? Uh, and all speak with tongues and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers. Will they not say that ye are mad? Yeah, there you go, Acts 2.13. So I guess we didn't go over that. I think we were going to go over 22 again. But uh, you guys can go ahead and, and go back over this chapter here. So let's go on down to 24 here this morning. But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believeth not, or one unlearned, uh, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest, and so falling down on his face, he will worship God, and report that God is in you of a truth. Uh, Isaiah 45, verse 14. So let's go to 26 here, friends. Now, how is it then, brethren, 
when you come together, every one of you hath a psalm or a a palm there. Well, it's psalm. We know that. Uh, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. First Corinthians twelve seven. Second Corinthians twelve nineteen. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, friends, and let, let's see, let's backtrack here. Let it be by two or uh, at the most by three, and that, of course, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church. But let him speak to himself and to God. Let the prophet speak two or three, and let the other judge. If anything be revealed in 30 uh, to another that sitteth by, let the first hold his peace. First Thessalonians 5, uh, 19 for that one there. Now in 31, for ye may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be comforted and by the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets for god is not the author of confusion but of peace as in all churches of the saints friends now let your women keep silence in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak but they are commanded to uh be under obedience as all also saith the law genesis 3 16 colossians 3 18 there in 35, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. What came the word of God out from you, or came it unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 7. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, come prophecy and forbid not to speak with tongues. 1 Corinthians 12, 31. Let all things be done uh, decently and in order. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. And there you go. So your homework uh, my brothers and sisters, you get to read the rest of 1 Corinthians. We'll probably uh, jump on over there at a later date on that one. All right, let's get our notes together here. So that was 1 Corinthians, friends, uh, 12 to 14. And again, speaking in tongues. So you want to write that uh, down uh, on your notes, friends. And you guys can kind of review uh the uh the notes there and uh you know um the uh the scriptures there as as it continues with the the speaking of tongues and the interpretation of tongues the gift of tongues right all right lots of uh lots of bible reading this morning as always amen now let's try the coffee uh run again to see if i don't spell it i you know, I can't do nothing here anyway. I mean, with the live uh, live broadcasting, having my coffee, reading the Bible, friends. That's what I like to do. Uh, you know, again, thank you guys for being so patient and understanding here. All right. No spill zone. I command it. I call it. No spilling. <laughs> Well, how are you guys doing? I know, like I said, I'm glad to be back up on, on running. This will be uploaded, and I'll post this all out. Good or bad, I try. Uh, and I'm just happy and glad to be able to do these broadcasts and do these podcasts here. Uh, it is a, a, a wonderful gift, and I, I'm glad I get to do it. So, you know, and like I said, sometimes I, I tend to drift, but uh, y'all kind of got used to that by now, dropping by the studio here and dropping by the podcast. Oh, mercy, friends. Uh, yeah, you made it to the weekend. Speaking of something else different, uh, you made it to the weekend. It is Friday morning here, almost 2 a.m. on the dial, live on the air, Block Talk Radio and more, so much more. Finally got everything kind of dialed in and queued up. That's 
that's a good thing. But uh, we're just going over Bible scriptures. And again, like I said, I'm going to try to get back live on Restream TV tonight. Uh, about 11 or so. We'll see how that goes and see how the day goes here. Uh, going over Jonah. We're going to backtrack and go back up on Jonah again. The introduction background on uh, out of the Orthodox Study Bible. And then we're going to jump into chapters 1 through 4. So that's coming up later on tonight. One way or the other, I'll figure it out. And I'll get back to you guys and let you know. All right. So. All right. So live on Block Talk Radio right now as I speak in friends. All right. Let's go to the next verse, next chapter. Isaiah 54 through 56. And we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, let's see. So back over here. All right. Lots to, lots to read here. A lot of Bible scriptures as always. Um, Where am I going with this? Isaiah. We want Isaiah. Sorry about that. Keep clipping my microphone. Um, 54. We want Isaiah, Isaiah 54. Amen. All right. There it is. An offering for sin. Let's read it. Let's read it together here. Uh, Isaiah 54 through 56. Picked a few out for you. We're going to go over those. Uh, welcome to Can Broadcasting live on the internet radio dial, friends. You're in Studio A. I appreciate each and every one of you. Pastor Rick again, Ministry Podcast Network, queuing up that Bible. Thank you guys. For again, just for being so patient here on the channel, I'm trying to get back on a on a somewhat normal, regular schedule. But God calls the call, you know, He calls it in and tells me, "Hey, this is what you're doing. This is where I want you to be at, and what I want you to do." So, as I was talking to my friend, he says, "You know, I said, hey, uh, I try to make plans to be on every single day, Monday to Sunday. Uh, sometimes just things don't, you know, things don't." work out and and things happen but uh, i'm trying to as best i can anyway to at least get back somewhat on on a, a track here uh, again bless you guys for for waiting it out and being so patient here let's read it uh friends uh again isaiah uh chapters 54 through 56 let's go ahead and read that this morning friends all right let's roll on uh, verse 1, chapter 54 in the book of Isaiah. Now sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud. Thou not didst not travail with child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy inhabitations. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. All right, I'm not going to lose that channel, so bear with me, guys. I'm going to try to stay on top of this so my channels don't fall asleep. <laughs> All right, let's move on to verse 3 here, friends. Uh, 54 in the book of Isaiah. So, for that shall break forth on the right hand and on the left, and they thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles. And make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Isaiah 55 verse 5. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. And neither be confounded, thou confounded. For thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. And shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. For thy maker is thine husband. Uh, the Lord of hosts is his name. And the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called, uh, Jeremiah 3.14 and Luke 1.32 on that. All right. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou waste or wast refused, uh, saith thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with a great mercies, uh, with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little, uh, let's see, in, in a little wrath I hid my face. 
from thee for a moment, but with the everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord thy Redeemer. And like I said, I want to send a real quick shout out uh, to uh, Pastor Ina over at Children of God's uh, Children. Uh, Asoma, uh, it's called uh, Asoma Numa uh, Padilla, A Blessed Life. And you can catch uh, the broadcast there on YouTube, of course, Facebook, I am View, uh, I am View, and Gab Social. Still working out that schedule, trying to get back on there myself. I'm going to be uh, jumping in there and kind of doing some podcasts. Some messages, of course, and uh, also Brother Mark and Pamela over at Christian Watchers of the Heavenly Signs, uh, of course, on Facebook. And, of course, my kids, you guys can check that out, K&R over, right on over at YouTube and all that, and the podcast, of course, rolling through all that. Uh, and, uh, and my older one there, of course, you guys know, you guys check it out, sign up, subscribe to the channels, friends. All right. Uh, amen. And again, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm going to be back on, uh, Melon TV again. All once I get that all squared up and paid, uh, in February here coming up real soon, I'm going to be back online again. And I'll probably do a couple, two or three days a week. I'll kind of try to switch it up. I uh, I don't know if I'm going to do two or three days in a row, you know, one to three days in a row, one to two days in a row uh, per channel. I might just kind of rotate it out. I'm I'm still it's a whole new schedule for February, so I'm going to see what I can do as I got this month scheduled out all the way to the 31st. Because obviously we've got 31 days in a month, uh, so um, I'm just going to work through the month of this month and then we're kind of you know january we'll kind of figure out things for february but we will be adding melon tv and of course the audio podcast as well so we'll see how all that goes a new month we're not um, we're not even out of january yet close but we're not out of january yet so all right so let's keep going like i said we're in the book of isaiah 54 here uh let's kind of go backtrack just a little bit uh, I think we're about nine here, friends, in chapter nine. Let's, I got to make sure those don't fall asleep. All right. So Spreaker Channel 3 is up and running. Uh, Radio.co UK. All the way in the UK is awesome. Tin Can, of course. Block Talk Radio live on the air broadcasting again out of Studio A here, friends. Good to see you. Good to be back on here. Again, I'll post this out. Got to get it all running and rolling. Amen. Let's continue, shall we, friends? Good morning to you. Good Friday morning to you. Okay, so verse 9 here, let's check that out. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, or the earth, not Perth. That's in Australia. We're not talking about Australia. We're talking about earth. There it is, the go over as the water goes over the earth. So I have uh, have I sworn that I may that uh, w- I would not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee, Genesis eight twenty one Jeremiah thirty one thirty five for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed but my kindness shall not depart from thee, and neither shall the covenant covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. Psalm 46, verse 2 there. Uh, let's go to verse 11 here. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest or storm, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, uh, and lay thy foundation with the sapphires. First Chronicles 29, 2. And I will make thy windows of agates, Uh, And thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, uh, and from terror, let's see, for it shall not come near thee. 
Behold, thy or they shall surely gather together, but not by me, whosoever uh, shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. And behold, I have created the smith and blow up the coals in the fire. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I've created the water to destroy. As again, we're clearly seeing the end times here. Floods all up and down California, all over the country, all over the world. We're seeing this earthquakes in diverse places. Mercy fronts. It is, it's bad cold weather all over in places that it really shouldn't be cold weather, but it is cold. Uh, so yeah, end times here, friends. It's coming. It's all coming true. So hold on, my friends. That definitely uh, hold on here. I'll have to take that note there. All right. Uh, let's see. So I think we're at about seventeen. No weapon, church. Watch this. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue shall rise against thee in judgment. Thou shalt not condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me. Saith the Lord, Isaiah 45, verse 24, for that. Put that down on your sticky notes, friends, and write that or write it down. Put that uh, by your bed, by your phone, by your or on your refrigerator, right? Write that down, friends. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper, church, right? Come on now. All right, let's roll on. Oh, I got a rush of the Holy Spirit on that one. I, it, it, you know, I don't always get it, but uh, you know when I do. Mind-boggling, friends. Mind-boggling. Amen. Bless the, bless it, you guys. Bless, thank you guys so much for being here. And I gotta get a big amen. By the way, did I remind you? Can we get a big amen in the church this morning, friends? Good morning to you. All right, let's roll on to chapter 55 in the book of Isaiah, friends. Amen. Now, he says in verse 1, let's, uh, before I even do that, let's make sure our channels aren't sleeping on their post, friends. All right, chapter 55, Isaiah, verse 1. Uh, how everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, friends. And he that hath no money, Come ye buy and eat, yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Matthew 13, 44. Now, wherefore and to do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Verse 3, incline your ear and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have gotten him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. And behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God. God, friends, right there. And for the Holy One of Israel, friends, right there. Uh, he says, for he that uh, he hath glorified thee. Isaiah 52, 15 and Ephesians 2, 11 for those side scriptures, friends. All right, see, uh, six, seek ye the Lord. <laughs> there it is. Uh, he says, uh, while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Psalm 32 verse 6 for that side scripture. Amen. All right. Uh, seven, let the wicked forsake him uh, now or sake my, forsake my way. The unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly Pardon, friends, right there. But my thoughts are not your thoughts. Watch this. Neither are your ways my ways, uh, saith the Lord. Right there. Uh, and you guys could write that down as well for your notes. He says right there in verse 8, friends, we're in chapter 55 in Isaiah. He says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. 
neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Uh, all right, so let's go on to nine. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Psalm 103, verse uh, 11 there. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but uh, watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, Isaiah 54 verse 9, for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Uh, and uh, the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Uh, First Chronicles 16.33 Now instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree. And instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. Uh, as we look at God abundantly pardons. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Isaiah 41, 19 and Micah 7, 4. There you go. All right, 56, right? We're in 56. That's right, Isaiah 56. Got a little bit of time on the clocks here. Probably another two hours or so. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, after that. But uh, I wanted to get back on here, get back on track. At least get something out going again. Uh, amen, right? All right. Uh, just to, to let y'all know, I, I, uh, I, I got bit by something and I think it was a spider bite, but, uh, I'm already putting the blood on it and I'm right there. Heal it by his stripes. Again, we are healed, friends. Amen. All right. Little side note. You know how I am, friends. Yeah, you, you, I, you gotta love it. Amen. Appreciate you guys. All right, 56, as we continue here on this podcast. Good morning to you. Now, in Isaiah 56, it says, Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth uh, keepeth his hands from doing any evil. Isaiah 58, 13. And neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined him self to the Lord uh, speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people, and neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. Deuteronomy 23, 1, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1, that way, uh, on that one. Amen. All right. Uh, looks like they're doing okay. We're live on the air, broadcasting here. Uh, let's see. So I think we are, let's see, on verse 4 here. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths and choose the thing that please me and take hold of my covenants. Even unto them will I give in mine hand or house and within my walls a place and a name better than the of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Right there, right? Now, and the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants, everyone that keepeth the, the Sabbath from polluting it and taking hold of my covenant, even them will I bring uh, to the holy mountain, right? As he says here, the peace of the righteous uh, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. The burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar. For mine now shall be called in the house of prayer for all people. Right there. All right. Tin Can, you're live on that first hour. Good morning to you. Just a little after 2 o'clock, Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast Network, for the, uh, the 26th 
front. Why was I? I was thinking it was the 25th. Glad I checked those dates and time. Uh, appreciate you, Tin Can. Have a good one. See you soon. Talk to you soon. Uh, let's see. Friday morning Bible study podcast on stream yard TV. All right. We're good to go on that one. I'll post that one out. Had to make sure the date and time was all corrected and right. Cause I changed it over to one o'clock. Amen. Anyway, that's rolling through friends. So let's continue. Uh, let's see. So let's go to verse eight. The Lord God, which gathereth the outcasts of Israel saith, yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour, yea, all ye beasts in the forest. Uh, Jeremiah 12, 9, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. Uh, they are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundance. And there you go, friends. Wow. All right, so the rest of your, or you get some homework, the rest of uh, a few more chapters in Isaiah anyway. Go ahead and read that if you will. All right, uh, Tin Camp, been out there a long time. It's been pretty awesome. I, I really enjoy having that uh, option to uh, get another uh, channel out there. It's pretty awesome, so that is good. Now that's out. All right, so uh, I think we're good there. Uh, and again, I'm still trying to work out the schedule for IMVU. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, I really, uh, really want to get something on there. Uh, again, kind of, you know, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. I'm, I'm working on it. We'll see what I can do here. I, I do want to get to that channel. Amen. All right, well, you're just still in your first hour. We're hanging out. <laughs> I'm trying not to lose my voice, but, uh, you know, uh, we will keep keep rolling right on through here, friends. Uh, amen. Just checking YouTube. Uh, amen. All right, there it is. Good enough. Let's keep rolling here, my friends. Live on StreamYard TV, brothers and sisters, back in church, hanging out. Let's see what we got. Ba 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 ba. Gonna do checking the tablet here. All right. Get back on that. Like I said, I'm still trying to work that that IMVU channel out. I really want to get on there somewhat and, and have some kind of a scheduling going on there. Hey man, what are we doing? Isaiah 54, 56, got that out of the way. Hey Amen. All right, good scriptures. Love Isaiah, love the book of Isaiah. All right, uh, let's see. Let's jump on over to Revelation, friends. How about we check out Revelation? They've been there for a little bit. Maybe not, not. Well, we just always kind of go into Revelation, but uh, we're going to look at 9 through 12. So let's go to the back of the book there, uh, friends, and check that out. Uh, Revelation 9 through 12. A little bit of reading here this morning. But that's okay. That's what we do here. That's the format of the of the uh, channel. That's what from the inception of this uh, this channel here. Pretty much just right out of the Bible, pick some scriptures and, and just read them. So I hope it always helps. I do. I appreciate you guys hanging out. All right. Revelation 9 through 12, friends. Let's go ahead and check that out, if you will. All right. So we're talking about the angels. And we're at the fifth angel now on this one. He says, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven. Uh, unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. That's going to be over in Luke 8, 31 here. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit uh, as the smoke of a great furnace. 
And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit, and there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Exodus 10.4 And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not, the seal of God in their foreheads. That's Exodus 12, 23 and Revelation 6, 6. And to them it was given that they should not kill them. As we roll on through uh, Revelation here this morning. But that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion. When he striketh the man, Revelation eleven seven. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. Job 3.21. You guys can, again, kind of write those down in your key notes there, your key scriptures. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. And on their heads were uh, as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. Daniel 7.8. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. Joel 1 6. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots uh, of many horses running to battle. We've got Joel 2 5. Uh, and they had tails like unto scorpions, and there was stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months, Revelation 9, 5. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name is, the and in Hebrew tongue, it is Abaddon. All right. But in the Greek tongue, half his name, Apollyon. So let's go on here. Now, the let's see, I believe in 12, as I read my notes here, the third woe, I believe, or let's see, the woe is passed, and I think it's third woe, or third, I think it might be the third woe there. I'll have to double check here. I uh, he says, let's go back over that. Oh, uh, one woe is passed, and behold, there came two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before and after. All right, let's go on as we talk about the trumpets here, the, the sixth trumpet here in verse 14, saying to the sixth, trump, or the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, uh, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. Sixteen, and of the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard a number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on it, uh, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. And out of the mouths issued fire, smoke, and brimstone. All right, by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth. For their power uh, is <coughs> in, let's see, and in their tails. Uh, and their tails were like unto serpents, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. Now let's grab some of that scotch tape. I uh, got a little tear in the Bible there. I don't want that. Uh, amen. All right. So let's go ahead and fix that spot right there while we can. Amen. All right, and the rest in 20 of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of their works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold uh, and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see nor 
hear nor walk. Leviticus 17, 7, Psalm 106, 37. And neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their threats. There you go. As an, uh, we look at an angel and seven thunders here in the book of Revelation this morning. Now let's roll on to uh, chapter 10 this morning here today. And I saw another mighty angel come down uh, from heaven cloth with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head and his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire Ezekiel 128 and he had in his hand a little book open all right uh, and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth Matthew 28 18 and cried with a loud voice uh, as when a lion roareth and when he had cried seven thunders uttered their voices Revelation 8 5 and when the seven thunders had uttered their voices I was about to write and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. Daniel 8, 26. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea, uh, sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven. Exodus 6, 8 on that one. I'm going to catch these channels before they drift asleep here this morning. All right, let's keep rolling. And we've got six. And swear by him that living forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, uh, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. Nehemiah 9 6 and Revelation 4 11 for that. All right, so as we look at verse 7 here, friends, as we look at this, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. All right, and let's see, let's go to 8. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth in revelation 10 verse 4 for that side scripture and i went unto the angel and said unto him give me the little book and he said unto me take it and eat it up and as shall make the belly bitter but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey all right, 10, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Uh, and he that said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. All right, let's roll on to 11 here. I believe it's where we're at. Revelation chapter 11. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles, non-Jews, of course, again, as we know. All right, uh, let's see. And the holy city shall they tread underfoot 40 and two months. All right, let's go over that. So I uh, believe it is three here. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, cloth in sackcloth. We talked about that before, Moses and Elisha. All right, now uh, let's continue in the book of Revelation. Let's go ahead and do that. I battle my bookmarks here as always. Why not? Throw it in there. Now, 
in verse 4. Now, these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of earth. Uh, Psalm 52, verse 8. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in the manner be killed. Number 16, 29. Now, these have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite earth with all plagues as often as they will. Exodus 7, 19. We've got to fix that one quick spot here. Uh, sometimes the note gets out of, out of control and I don't get a chance to go back over them for a while until I actually go back and see them. But this is a little spot I can fix right quick here. Uh, so we're talking about the plagues, friends. So all plagues, uh, again here, let me fix that. Uh, as often as they will. Man, all right, Exodus 7, 19. So let's go to 7. When they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to put in grave or to be put in graves. Uh, we got Psalm seventy nine verse two there. Uh, Ten, and they let's see, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. Let's get that microphone just a little bit closer. Marcy, that's no wonder why I couldn't hear it very well. All right. Well, like I said, I'm always trying to find that sweet spot on the microphone. Uh, friends, there it is. Okay. Uh, and let's see. Let's go ahead and do that, too. Um. Okay, so 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit uh, of life from God entered in them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Ezekiel 37, 5, and Revelation 11, 9. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to earth or heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Second Kings 2 1 Isaiah 14 13. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand friends. And the remnant after affrighted or were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. Right there. All right, uh, let's see. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. All right, uh, and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And 16, and the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God. Revelation 4, 4 for that, uh, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, uh, which art a wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to, thy, uh, to thee thy great power and hast reigned. Go to Revelation 1 4 on that one on that side scripture. Let's go to the next verse here. Uh, 18 And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants and prophets and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy 
the earth. Uh, Daniel 7, 9. And the temple of, the, of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testaments. And there was lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. Revelation 8, 5. And we're going to go on over to chapter 12 in the book of Revelation today, friends. All right, let's keep rolling. Got a little bit of time. Like I said, probably a little over two hours on this one again. I'm trying to, you know, I'm working with the Black Hawk Radio Clock, so they give us a little over two hours on this. So uh, always a good Bible study, friends. Always a good church service. Grateful to be here, friends. Always humbled. All right, let's roll on to chapter 12 here. In Revelation, as we talked about Bell and the Dragon, now I've done that podcast. You guys can go back in there in the archives and check that out. Let's go to 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clawed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. Uh, Isaiah 66, verse 7. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head, or heads. Uh, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and it cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. Uh, for devour child as soon as it was born, Exodus 1.16. And she brought forth a man-child who was ready to rule or to rule all nations uh, with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God. And he was thrown, Psalm 2.9. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there. A thousand two hundred and three score days, Revelation 11.3. And there was war in heaven. Uh, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Uh, Daniel 10, 13, and prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Genesis 3 1, Luke 10 18, Revelation 9 1. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God, uh, or uh, see, day and night. I think I put that block there just a little bit too early, so let me fix that. All right. Um, again, with the homework and the notes and all that stuff, friends, not complaining. Appreciate the opportunity I get. Uh, so there you go on that. All right. Uh, so day and night. In 11, and they overcame uh, him by the blood of the Lamb, as I always say, we were bought at a price, friends, lest we forget. So let's go on to that. Uh, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the, unto the death. Now, therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. As we know, we've seen it right now. All right. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman. Let's go on to the next page here. Which brought forth the man-child, friends. Right there. All right. Uh, Revelation 12, 5 for that. Uh, and the woman were given two wings of a great eagle uh, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, 
where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. Exodus 19.4. And the serpent cast out his mouth water as a flood. Again, watch that words there, friends. Uh, as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Isaiah 59 verse 19. And the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. There it is, friends. Read Revelation. How eye-opening is that? All right, Revelation 9 through 12, friends, in this first hour here, locked in, ready to go. Um, I got a little bit of time, like I said, friends, a little over two hours on this, maybe. We'll kind of see how it goes and see what I can do here. Roll up them sleeves, brothers and sisters. It is church time. Church is on. All right, let's uh, check out the next scripture. We're going to kind of just go right through the scriptures I got loaded up here. Uh, amen. We're going to go back just a little bit again, uh, just because I want to check this scripture out. Hmm. All right. Yawn and I'll five and a half, friends. Get that brother some coffee. <laughs> amen. Good to be on live with you, friends. Again, back on StreamYard TV. Uh, kind of pre-setting everything and testing it out. Want to make sure things were rolling good. All right, we're in Philippians 4. And let's see where it is. All right, Philippians 4, friends. Go ahead and do that. We'll get to that, and I'll have some more coffee. Try not to spill it on myself. I know. Amen. And there are my friends in Japan. Konnichiwa. Domo regato, my precious family, brothers and sisters over there. That's awesome. Stay safe, you guys. Lots of chaos going on in the world, friends. We know that. We see it. Look at the there all the social media, all that stuff, friends. Mercy. Oh, Lord, come quickly and take the wheel. I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just moving along here. So let's let's keep it going here, friends. How about Philippians 4? Amen. Now, therefore, my brother, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown. Stand fast, church, in the Lord. My dearly beloved. Amen. I beseech Yodius. I beseech a bookmark, because <laughs> I got to get a bookmark for that one. Uh, amen. Give me a second there. That's not going to work. Let me see what I got going on. Uh, amen. I ran out of bookmarks and I had to make up some other ones here. So that's, uh, I don't know why that's not there. Uh, again, chapter four in, uh, Philippians, as we said and saw, I beseech Eodius, uh, I beseech Sittiche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help these women. Uh, which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Ezekiel, or Exodus 32, 32, and Daniel 12, verse 1. Now rejoice in the Lord always, friends. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known uh, unto all men, the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing and in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Psalm 55, uh, verse 22. And we're going to readjust that again, just in case. Uh, let's see, he says, um, let's see, make all your requests be known unto God, Psalm 55, 22, and let's move on to seven, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, 
Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, uh, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on those things, or these things. Uh, nine, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. Now, Romans 15, 33 uh, and 10. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, and now at the last you care of me, I uh, have flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. All right. Eventually, like I said, we'll see. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 9 is where we're at with that one. And 11, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therefore to be, or with, to be content. First Timothy 6, 6 there. Uh, I know both how to be abased and I know how to be, uh, how to abound everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Right here, friends, write it down. Uh, you know, put it on your hand there on your little notes. I can do all things uh, through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Amen. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye have uh, did communicate with my affliction. Philippians 1 7. Now, ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving or tithings, as we see. But ye only, 2 Corinthians 11 8. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Romans 15, 28. But I have all and abounded. I am full and received of Ephroditus. Ephroditus, we got to go old school and sound that out. The things which were sent from you. An odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. Corinthians uh, 9, 12, I believe on that one. But my God, church, and you got to look to your neighbor and say, hey, 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 neighbor. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now I got to get a big amen on that one, friends. Good morning to you. And an amen and a hallelujah too. All right, let's move on to verse 20. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen again. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus, the brethren which are with me greet you. Galatians 1.12 All the saints salute you chiefly that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. What a great scripture that is, friends. Boy, we need to hear that every day. Double it up, if you may, my friends. Amen. Philippians 4, 1 through 23. All right. Got a little bit more for you. We're going to go back over to Psalm, friends. We're going to check out some books of Psalm. Right? Is that where we're at? We're going to go to Psalm. All right. Are we in? We're still in our first hour, are we? Yep. We're still in our first first hour here. All right. Let's roll on as we're going to go over to Psalm. Uh, I should know where that's at. Okay. Going this way. Going this way. Um, but 24 through 30. Is that where we're at? Psalm 25, 24. Order to 24 to 30, friends, in the book of the book of, of Psalmist. Friends, what a great set of scriptures that is. Uh oh, I ripped my page. That's not good. 
All right, bear with me. I got to repair it real quick. I accidentally ripped my page there on the Bible. That's not good. All right, let's see. All well, that's that didn't. That's not good. Uh, that's not real good here. Give me a second. I got to do some taping and some patching. Ah, uh, mercy, my friends. That did not help. Um, uh oh, well, looks like I got a little work to do here, friends. I kind of know what it says. Obviously, I can just look it up, but uh, it happens. I, I for some reason it's it ripped, and bear with me on that. That did not go as I planned. Right, let's see if I can fix this. Maybe, uh oh. Well, I tried, you know, it's there, but it's in the wrong spot and didn't help. This That's the little delay here. So, again, thank you guys for being so patient with me as I try to repair uh, my, <laughs> my notes here. Mercy, that did not turn out the way I, I thought, uh, friends, as, I, as again, uh, where is it at? Can't find the end of the tape. All right. A little bit of Bible surgery here, friends, trying to get the pages to back together to work right. Uh, there it is. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Let's get some room up there. Operation time here, my friends. Operation repair the page of the Bible because it tore. And that throws everything off because then I got to go kind of by memory there. All right. Got it. Amen. It happened. We got it. Let's roll on. A little bit of side uh, stuff going on there, friends. Trying to do the best what I got. So what do we got? 23 or 24. So Psalm 24, friends. We're going to go uh, look at 24 to verse 30 or chapter 30 here. So he says here, the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof, the world, and they are uh, they that dwell there in Exodus 9.29. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Genesis 1.9, Psalm 104.5, Second Peter 3.5. Uh, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? Psalm 15.1. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not looked to the soul of vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Uh, Job 17, Isaiah 33, 15. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from God, the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. As again, we are in the book of Psalm. All right. Uh, lift up your heads, church. O ye, as he says, of gates, right? Is that the word? That's where I went. O ye gates, and be lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Psalm 97 6. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads. Again, he says, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Amen. Now the Lord, let's see, who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. Selah. And let's go on to Psalm 25, friends. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Psalm 86, 4. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Psalm 13, verse 2, I think, or 4. Verse 4 in this one. Uh, yea, let none that wait on me be or thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Shew me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Exodus 33, 13. Lead me not in thy truth and teach me. 
For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. And remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness. For they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Uh, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, uh, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are, uh, are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimony or testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will shew them uh, with or them his covenant. Uh, mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Psalm 141, verse 8. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. Psalm 69, verse 16. Uh, the troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for there are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let not... Uh, let, let's see what it says. Let them not be ashamed. Uh, let's see. For I put my trust in thee. Psalm 25, verse 2. Uh, let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. And we're going to go on over to the next verse, 22. He says, examine and prove me. Uh, now, redeem Israel, O God out of all its troubles. Uh, Psalm 130, verse 8. And we're going to roll on to 26. Your little visit with the book of Psalm, friends. Amen. All right. Judge me, O Lord, for I've walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Second. Three. And we're winding down the clocks, but we're going to keep on rolling here this morning. All right, Block Talk Radio, appreciate y'all dropping by, hanging out this morning, the 26th of January, 1 a.m. start time, and uh, hey, it's just about 3 a.m. in the morning again, but uh, I wanted to start this a little bit early than 5 o'clock, which is okay, that's why we, you know, I, I, I mentioned something, and I got real sidetracked, uh, this is why I have all the equipment set up, my friend's kind of tease me about it say hey, you got a spaceship why do you need all that equipment why do you need all that gear it's too much well god's got me on a, again a different scale and a different uh you know position i prayed for increase and i got it uh and and this is why like i said that there's no set schedule really here i just when when i feel from the lord or hear from the lord uh you know and i have opportunities uh, I jump on the podcast, and this is what I uh, enjoy doing. So that's why. And a roundabout way, I kind of got scattered again. But, uh, you know, I, I that's why I, I have the equipment that I do. Again, great uh, to be able to have a, a set solid able to broadcast in. It's awesome. And I give it all to God. It's all his. This is church. This is what I do. But uh, it's it's just awesome that I get this opportunity to do this here, friends. So bless you guys for hanging in there with me. All right. So we're in Psalm 26. Uh, and let's go back over verse 1. He says, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. Uh, I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Second Kings 20, verse 3 there. Uh, examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. 
For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. 2 Kings 20, verse 3. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go with disassemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Uh, Psalm 1, 1. I will wash mine hands in innocency. Ah, uh, so will I compass thine altar, O Lord. Exodus 30, verse 19, 1 Timothy 2, 8. That I may publish with a voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. Uh, whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. For as for me, or but as for me, I will walk in mine integrity, redeem me, and be merciful unto me. Psalm 26, 1, my foot standeth in an even place, in the congregations will I bless the Lord. Psalm 22, verse 22. Amen. All right. Trying to re-straighten out my headset just a little bit. This is a great investment. I'm really glad I got this opportunity to get that. Uh, and major improvement over volume and sound, as you guys uh, can tell. And that's what my I'm always striving uh, to make sure the content um, is, you know, uh, camera, microphones, all that stuff uh, is at its best best so uh thank you guys bless you guys for like i said bless you guys for support here what do we got 27 yeah we're in 27 we're gonna go through uh, a few more chapters of uh psalm here friends all right still almost at that two hour uh spot there we're gonna read a few more and uh kind of see how it goes but i want to make sure i i got on track here a little bit give you guys a little bit of a bible study for a couple hours all right, 27 in the book of Psalm, my friends. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Exodus 15, verse 2. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come uh, upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. Psalm 14, 4. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. We got Psalm eight, uh, Psalm three six there, friends. Give me a minute. Gotta keep our channels awake this morning. Got a lot left to to read here. Like I said, probably just be a little after three hour, or two hours here. Not not three don't worry about that but i uh, just a little over two hours here just coming up on that two hour mark so we'll be a little bit more here so let's go back and i think we're going to look at verse three though an host should encamp against me my heart shall not fear the war should rise against me in this will i be confident psalm 8 6 or 3 6 it might be 3 6 uh, I think it's 8-6. So check out both scriptures, 3-6 and 8-6. Check that out. See if that's what it is. All right. Let's move on down the line here, friends. Verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Uh, Psalm 126, verse 6 on that one. For the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Psalm 3.3 3. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, 
Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not my face far from me. Put not thy servant away uh, in anger, he says. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Uh, Psalm 69, 17. Ten, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Uh, Isaiah 49, 15. Teach me thy way, O Lord, uh, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Psalm 25, uh, 4. And deliver me not over, uh, let's see, not over unto the wall, or will of, not wall, will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and it shall as uh, or such as breath or breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, friends. Church, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Uh, wait. I say on the Lord. Amen. What a good scripture that is. All right. I've got to make some adjustments again. I don't know why this is not cooperating. <laughs> cooperating, right? Or cooperating. That's the word there. All right. Well, maybe someday. I can only hope. Amen. It is a, this is, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got that post, uh, friends. As you guys know, back a, a few months ago, this whole thing kind of broke out. The post broke out, uh, and I was going to order a new boom arm. And, you know, again, you guys that use this, you know what's, what's going on with it. But I didn't have to. I went online, I looked, and there was actually the clamp that was just the base of the This part is perfect. It works great. So I ordered a couple of them. So. Uh, as you guys saw in the updates, I got another place where I'm going to put the pulpit, maybe for Sunday service. We'll see. Uh, Broadcast it on the phone, maybe. I, I'm, I have a little extra station over here in uh, the the uh, studio here. And I haven't altered it um, beyond the camera right here in the studio, but just over the, the front side of the camera there. So, uh, yeah, working on a few things here. Uh, it's pretty pretty awesome. Pretty good deal to do. All right, what do we got on the menu? What, where are we at here? Psalm 28? Uh, amen. Like I said, lots of uh, reading here this morning. We're at our two-hour mark, my friends. Mercy. Okay, uh, let's see. And we are still right at about, um, let's see, 28. Let me grab something here. Uh, boom. And we're at, let's see. Okay, let me just give me a minute here or so. Um, let's see. Amen. Got to kind of update this uh, just so I kind of know where I'm at with that because uh, otherwise it kind of throws me off when I I go back over the notes. I want to make sure I, I you know where I, I left off and where I pick up in the in the two hour podcast. I want to make sure. Uh, so we went uh, 27, uh, 24 to 27 on this first part here, and then like I said, we're gonna. I kind of, I'm going to readjust that real quick. So we've got from 24 on. Um, I want to make sure where I'm at again. 24, right? Um, let's see. Okay. And uh, let's see. So that first part's going to be that part there. And that's going to wrap that section out of there. So, again, I'll be 
uh, kind of going back over this uh, here on the note on the notes and stuff. I want to make sure, like I said, uh, where I'm at. So uh, otherwise, I get thrown off, and I have to make sure that uh, I am on there. So there you go. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to spill that. And a little bit of work here. Thank you guys again for being so patient with this. On uh, again, I'll post this out as soon as I get an opportunity to do that. Amen. And let's see. Let's move that down. Because we got we've got a few more. I got a few more scriptures for you. I want to read. Um. Amen. Let's see. A little bit of work here. Give me a second. Uh, thank you guys again so much as I readjust my schedule once more. Amen. I never know. Like I said, I time it around Block Talk Radio uh, because, uh, as I you guys know, I've been kind of grandfathered in there. I've been on there a little over a decade now, about 10 years or so. Kind of early uh, start on Block Talk Radio. And uh, so I kind of, you know, timed the podcast right around that uh, to time card there, you know, the, the time frame that they have. Uh, and, you know, just kind of go by the scriptures and how many I have written out and, and what, you know, how many I want to read. But, uh, yeah, it's awesome. And it's just really good, really, really good, uh, you know, set uh, there. So, or really, you know, it's a really good kind of time clock to look at because i i mean i never know but uh you know they give me like i said about two hours so you know i figure church service you know you're in there to to learn the bible and to read it and that's what i want to do here so uh yeah thank you amen all right so we're going to continue that right and we're going to continue uh over there so let's see Bear with me, guys. Thank you guys for holding on here. Um, just had a little quick pause. I wanted to get this taken care of. Uh, so we're going to kind of move through it. Um, let's see. So 28 to 30. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. All right. Need some background music or something. And we're, we are going to do 30. Uh, not 30. Yeah, is it 30? Yeah, we're going to go to 30. Uh, amen. All right. Bear with me, guys. Hold that thought. I'm almost got it here. Amen. All right. Got it. It is a done deal on there. So we may, uh, friends, I'll go ahead and reset all this. I'm not going to, I'm not really going to do all this right at the moment, but, uh, for sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, we may go ahead and just close out. I may just throw in uh, one or two more here uh, because I want to make sure that I cover this. I do, I do. Um, amen. Do I have? Bear with me, guys. I'm working on something here real quick. I just kind of had a stoppage. I wanted to make sure it was taken care of. Uh, Maybe I'll use that as an opening. Ah, there you go. Uh, amen. All right. I got it. I got it figured out. <laughs> We're going to open up with Galatians. That's going to be the opening on the next podcast as we go into the book of Jonah. But I think we'll open up with a series uh, or maybe just go into this one and then the series. I'll, I'll work on it and figure it out. But that, uh, that's good. We'll go ahead and do that. That's the plan. We'll go ahead and look at uh, Psalm 28 through 30. We'll uh, figure that out. Go ahead and read that, friends. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Now unto thee will I cry, he says. Uh, o Lord, my rock, be not silent to me, lest if there be silent, thou be silent, I become like them that go down in the pit. Psalm 83, 1. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy voice, or oracle, right? Holy oracle. Uh, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, 
which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Psalm 12, 2. Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness. And of their endeavors, give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their deserts. Right? I thought that was desire, but it's desert. Uh, 2 Timothy 4.14, 5. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Uh, Job 34.27, Blessed be the Lord. Because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. Friends, again with the microphone. All right. The Lord is my strength, friends. Say it out loud, church. Amen. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I will plead. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth with my song. Will I praise him? Psalm 13, verse 5. The Lord is their strength, and he uh, is the saying strength of his anointed. Uh, let's see, Psalm 20, verse 6. Save the people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Psalm 78, verse 71. And we're going to roll on to Psalm 29. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. First Chronicles 16, 28. Amen. Amen. All right. Ah, give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in his beauty of holiness. Friends, right there. All right. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of the glory, thunder of glory, thundereth. Ah, uh, the Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty, friends. And the voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. Isaiah 2.13. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian, like a young unicorn. Uh, Deuteronomy 3 9. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of the fire. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, eight. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. Numbers 13 26. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calf and discovereth the forest, and his temple doth everyone speak of his glory the lord sitteth upon the flood yea the lord sitteth king forever genesis 6 17 psalm 10 16 the lord will give strength unto his people the lord will bless his people with peace psalm 28 verse 8 remember that verse there he said the lord will bless his people with peace friends amen all right uh, verse 30. Let's go ahead and go to that. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Psalm 28, verse 1. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. First Chronicles 16, 4. For his anger endureth but for a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's going to be over in Psalm 63, verse 3 for that side scripture. Uh, in 6, in my prosperity, I said I shall never be moved. Job 29, 18. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst my face, I hide my face, thy face, and I was troubled. Psalm 104, 29. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood? When I go down to the pit, shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Psalm 6, 5. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. 
Thou hast turned for my or for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Jeremiah thirty one four to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee. Uh, and not be silent, O Lord my God. I will give thanks unto thee forever. And there you go. A lot of words from the book of Psalm. And I really wanted to go back in there. I, haven't, uh, I mean, I always go into these, these books here. But I really wanted to touch basis with that, friends. That, that uh, really important verses there. All right. Well, let's see what we got. I think that is good enough here, friends. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead. Uh, I want to fix a couple of spots here real quick. Uh, amen. We might have time for one more, maybe. Uh, all right. A little bit of work to do. Again, not complaining. Appreciate the opportunity I get. All right. Uh, let's see. So, um, yeah, because I kind of have the next podcast already kind of laid out, and I really kind of didn't want to uh, jump too far over that. So let me all uh, let's see. Do, do a quick alternate deal here and kind of see where that's at. Amen. Uh, let's see. All right. Okay, good stuff. Lots of scriptures coming at you for the next set of script, uh, podcasts here. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to jump on tonight. I mean, like I said, I never know. It's it's kind of uh, depends on things uh, and uh, our internet and all that connection stuff and uh, kind of the, the you know what happens here in the studios. Uh, as again, distractions from the other minister that's running around the studios here. I. Doing a little bit of construction, some re uh, reassignments on some things, and uh, so I never know. Uh, amen. All right, what do we got? Let's see. Oh, mercy, friends, that is a lot. Let's see. Maybe we'll jump down. I think maybe we'll just do that. Um, let's see, because I kind of want to stick to. What I've got, the opening scriptures, then the book of Jonah intro, and then the book of Jonah for uh, one through four there. I think I kind of want to jump to that and we'll maybe move uh, Galatians uh, down a little bit uh, to our uh, second part. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, again, lots of homework, my friends. No problem there with scriptures. Uh, we'll load that up and I'll, I'll get this all straightened out here for the next podcast. And again, I hope to get back on uh, live again tonight on Restream TV. Get that, uh, get that rolling, friends. I think that's uh, kind of the battle plan of what I wanted to do. Uh, amen. Boy, lots, like I said, lots to cover, lots to, uh, get in there on that, on the broadcast here. All right. So there, we got, all right, lots, of, lots to work on here. Amen. And amen. All right. Good stuff. All right. There it is, friends. StreamYard TV and amen. All right, uh, let's see. Good enough. Lots of homework for me to do, but hey, I don't mind. It's it's quite all right. I, I have no complaints, no qualms about it. It's it's perfect. Hey, Amen. Well, that's it. I think we'll go ahead and just close out with that, friends. It's a good enough solid hour, a couple hours there. Why not? You know, no, no worries about that. I'm trying to... You know, try to keep it down to a dull roar. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, that's it, friends. That's a wrap. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you dropping by the studio. I'll get this out, uh, loaded out on the channels there. Uh, Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here for the 26th, friends. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. start time on the broadcast. First thing in the morning here. Wanted to make sure we got live again. Streaming our TV. 10 can. Radio.co.uk. Black Talk Radio, 
Twitter, X, uh, True Social, all them channels, Twitch TV, uh, Spreaker, of course, our main audio channel. Uh, again, a good, uh, good uh, channel to be on. Appreciate that, Spotify podcast. That's it. It's a wrap, my friends. Let's uh, close some channels down. Uh, all right, radio.co UK. Appreciate your time, friends. Take care. See you soon. All right, there it is. And let's close out uh, Spreaker Channel 3 on the backup mixer here. Amen. See you guys soon. Take care. All right, good stuff, friends. Amen. What a good Bible study that is. And let's go ahead and wrap up before we close out. Let's go ahead and wrap up uh, Block Talk Radio. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Take care, friends. Take care, uh, you guys. Amen. <laughs> All right. And that's a wrap on that one, my friends. Wow, is that awesome, friends. That is awesome. All right, a little bit of sweat. It's a lot of work, friends. Amen. Like I said, I do not mind at all. All right, so we're going to roll that, and then I'm going to go over to Spreaker, wind down that channel here as we get this one rolling out. Thank you guys again. I appreciate it. That's awesome. I appreciate your time, and take care, you guys. Spreaker Channel 1 on the main channel. Uh, Amen. Thanks a lot, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one, friends. Take care. Appreciate you guys. All right. So that's it there. Bear with me. We're going to move on over to, uh, let's see, StreamYard TV. Uh, that's it, friends. You guys are awesome. Take care, and I'll see you on the next broadcast. We'll get this loaded out and uh, set up on the feeds. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how the day goes and how the late night goes. We'll maybe be back on uh Restream TV, Twitch TV Live, all them good channels, friends. You guys take care. Pastor Rick, Ministry Podcast Network for the 26th of the month of January, friends. Already Friday early morning, 1 a.m. start time, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, What can I say, friends? Thank you guys for your patience and your support. Sorry about all the coffee spillage there in the beginning, but it happens. So see you soon, friends. Thank, uh, Thank you, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe on the channels, friends. Appreciate you guys. See you soon. Take care.